I've got a sound called up from the electronic folder of presets, and we can see here it's comprised of three orchestral sound sets and one electronic one, and it sounds nice. I've got these notes programmed up, a G, an F, a G, and then an E flat. Now, before I started the video, I did some randomization here and came up with some interesting harmonization. I've set this to E flat major and some really interesting chords generated, but they're all getting triggered in all the ranges and all the notes. Let's see how we can use some simple layer controls to make this more interesting. Now I'm gonna start by focusing on this first layer. And maybe I wanna have that play only the higher range. I'm gonna set it like that. So it's not triggering all the notes. Now here, I'm gonna set this one as well to a narrower range. I'm gonna set that to let's say E2 as the low end and on the high end B2, so very narrow. That's what we're getting there. And now let's go here to this layer, which is running through the arpeggiator. We can see it's on here. And I think I'll leave that full range. But maybe I'll go into here and just bring the volume up a bit. We'll go back to the main page and let's look at the next layer, the electronic layer. I'm gonna set that one so that it's just triggering some of the lower notes. We'll set the low range to C1. And we see this reflected in the keyboard here and the high range to maybe C3. So we're not getting all of the sounds. So let's put them all on now. And now we got the notes distributed a little bit more interestingly. Now let's look at our crossfading between the layers. I see there's some going on here, but nothing in B, but I want to tweak that. So I'm going to go into the layer edit like that. It's going to bring the overall volume down. And here, maybe I'm going to set this to a triangle and I'm going to sync it to tempo. And let's just turn off layer B for a moment. That's the depth. So just a little bit of oscillating like that. I don't want it too hard and there nothing's getting triggered in that range on that. So subtle movement like that. And now let's put B on. And here, let's turn on the modulation. I'll leave that as sine wave and I'll sync that to tempo as well. But maybe I'll slow it down. Half notes. So that boom, 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 it's coming in just on the off beats like that with the modulation. So everything all together now. Now, if we go into the layer edit, we can maybe tweak some of the panning here. I'm on layer A, the first part. You'll hard pan, hard pan that. We'll go to this one and hard pan that one. And then on B, I'll do some panning, but not quite as extreme. Go back to the main page. So there's a way of taking simple preset and using some of the simple tools and developing something unique. And if we go to the arpeggiator page, we'll go to B, we can see the chords that are being generated spelled out here for us. We'll continue with more in the next video.